Christ, I can't do it on my own. There's so much blood. Dear God, is this one of the guests? I don't know. Go get someone. He'll bleed to death. Press on the wound. I'll get help. The janitor is upstairs. Room 207. Where are you? Who is this? Easy. Don't try to get up. Good Lord. No one will ever talk me into a mountain trip again. There he is. Looks like that missing fellow. The detective showed guests his dagger type. Detective? You mean that nosy fop Walter Gilman? Holy mother of God! I have to telegraph the sheriff. No, this man needs a doctor. Uh, I've seen wounds like this. It's only a matter of minutes. I'm sorry, son. These voices. What the There's hell just so happened? Many of them. Wait, wait. I, I think I've heard this conversation before. Those people. They said that a certain detective, Walter Gilman, looked for the judge. If he was interested in missing people from the area, he might know something about my father's disappearance as well. It was the janitor who usually kept the reception keys. All right, so our goal is 207. In. Judge John Norton, person. father's former associate. Is that possible? I've just witnessed a crime from a decade ago. I'm getting lost. Memories and delusions all bleeding into one. The missing judge. Someone has been looking for him. Walter Gilman. Honest Abe. All the time with Honest Abe. Anyhow, so we just got into the inn and the past. Experiencing a further past. Nice stormy weather outside. Alright, let's start systematically checking out all these rooms. I have 76 matches. Think about that. I'm just gonna light a candle in every room I've explored just to keep it a little bit organized. Hmm, nothing really so far in this room. Whoa. Was that a weasel? Why? <laughs> so just a recap, I have 28 kerosene and 78 matches right now. Uh, wasn't anything important in this room. Let's keep moseying down the hallway. I can't get in there yet. Oh, we can lockpick this though. Whoa, that one's fast. I just hit it really hard. You son of a gun. There we go. Okay, I have a weapon. What's this? Pyrite lump. Can I not take it? Okay. Whoa. I guess I can fill up my kerosene. Can't quite see what's in there. Mustn't be important. I guess there's some backup supplies in that room. Alright, I think we're ready to go down this hallway. Because we can't go up there quite yet. Can't do anything back there. We're just looking for 207. Well, if you ram that hard enough, it'll open. Need another key. All these rooms are blocked off. Come on. Hey, no, that wasn't a spy. Nor do I know anything about Russian spies in this timeline. Yep, that's where we are. Alright, so that back right staircase is where 
things went down, apparently. What? <laughs> Was I supposed to experience something? I think this thing flew at me. Here we are. Okay. Luke 8, 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid nor shall not be known in come abroad. What's going in my pocket? What, what is this doing here? Oh, no. I thought we got rid of that thing. Some matches back here in the corner. More kerosene. All those are locked. Surprisingly. Okay. What do we got upstairs? Take another peek at the map real quick. That's a big 112 right there. Why is it like four rooms combined? Can I get in? No. It, it won't let me run right here. Uh huh. Right, let's go down here. Not too much of outside is being rendered. So nothing in this direction. Good. More matches. Uh, okay, pretty bare. Pretty bare room. You know, these stairs weren't designed this way, were they? It was like two sets of small stairs going up, wasn't it? Hmm. That seems unimmersive. Unless there's another smaller staircase hidden somewhere. I don't think we were that deep into the... God, who is this? What is Why are we following him? Leave him alone. Okay. So 207 is right in front of me. Uh, let's turn, let's go behind us and check out anything in this direction. Heard screeching of some sort. Hello? <laughs> Funny skinless man, burn victim. Oh, what? <laughs> Whoops. Oh boy. Uh huh. I'll read this and give you a summary. Just a letter of some guy complaining about the owner of the inn's son running around the hallways at night. He says this because he runs into his office and frequently disappears when trying to be captured. Alright, nothing down there. So many drawers. Alright, let's try 207 then. I think it's time. Yeah, locked. Locked. Look at how shimmery the door is.
kind of saw him before he shifted into position there. This looks sharp. Maybe I could use it to cut Just kick it open. That's only to dissuade. Hello, previously locked door. What we got going on in here? It's only to dissuade like minor uh, theft. Just kick that out of the wall. What's the kerosene? Okay. Hi, lady. Holy shit. What was that? Where did it try to drag me? To hell, maybe? Christ, what have I gotten into? I think it tried to drag you to the first floor. It was very successful. We'll use, we'll use the lantern for a little while. Things are getting a bit spooky. Can't skip drawers in this mode of the game. You gotta always keep an eye out for matches and kerosene. Man, I'm gonna burn this place down. Look how many, look how many uh, candles I'm lighting just leaving to burn. Pick up the matches. Goodness. Alright, we can't get out there. What? What was the point of that? Ah, oh, so we can climb up there. Okay, climbing up we will do. Nothing left for us down here. It looks like we got all the way to our hatchet looks tool. Like looks like a slaughter. slaughter. Good god, something's wrong here. God. Something's wrong here. I'd better grab that tool and get out of here. This should cut through the chain in the janitor's room. What? I've seen this picture like a lot <laughs> in a lot of horror games. That's weird. Funny asset. Uh, who's this? Opal, magazine for psychiatric patients. First magazine edited by patients, poems, stories, interviews, articles. September to October 1850. And matches. Oh. No. I thought that was a weird render line, that roof line right there. Okay, so we got the tool. Now we can cut this one. Pressing back and forwards a lot faster than trying to use the mouse. Well, I guess we're done with it. I don't want to open this one. What's with these non drawer abominations? They know I need my drawers. Poor soul. He spent most of his life here, and after death, he's still the inn's janitor. But now for eternity. And the guests. Was that the janitor I was following around? What I can see are sure to cause trouble. Pal, you look really uh, Abe Lincoln-y. 
Might need a thumbnail here. Mr. Jacob keeps telling me to lay off the bottle. He says that I'm seeing things, but I swear that it's all real. I drink because I'm afraid. Something lurks in these forests. I've heard some inhuman screams in the trees and howling in the caves. I've seen claw marks on the bark. Mr. Jacob says, Cla uh, Calm down, you drunkard. You scare away the guests. What if they should be afraid? How many people have gone into the forest never to come back? My god, I can hear this howling again. I won't find any rest tonight if I don't take a swig or two. Interesting. Let's turn into a werewolf game. Werewolf and ghosts. That's where it's making me go in my head. Alright. Go to the B Wing. Alright, we do have the key. But we also have a thousand drawers over here to look through. As long as this guy been dead here. Get, stay open. Wanna see what's outside. Some backdrop here. That's where I took the ledge and told myself I should be careful. I'm not scared of heights. Haven't the key for that yet. It creates barricades like that. That's the entrance. What why was this? Is this a ghost? Or did, did I completely lose Don't do that, please. I had one of those shiver go up my spines right there. <laughs> Alrighty then. At least so far they're just prankster ghosts. Do not open, but I so want to. That weirdo wanted to blow me up. I managed to subdue the bastard and lock him up in one of the, my rooms. My god, watch over you if you ever need to enter B-Wing. The combination to the padlock is anger. But before we do that, this looks very shimmery. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this. Well, let's check that out in a second. Don't I have the key for this door right here? No? I thought that's why I went up there. To get the janitor's key. Okay. What in the world's in B Wing, I wonder? Well, this is certainly the easiest puzzle in the game. Huge room. It's like four rooms combined. So, how much of all this has to do with me being crazy and what's actually happening? Do I have paranormal abilities that lets me see events of the past? Or am I just absolutely nuts? get to a hundred matches. Hello. This must be what that disturbed janitor was writing about. Looks like he died a long time. Is this the crazy guy who something about a bomb? Okay. Uh, let's 
pretty long. John, everything went as planned. Yes, my dearest brother, we have reached the final finale of our masterpiece. I have managed to procure a uniform from a Union soldier and get all the way to the northern reaches of Massachusetts. On my way, I slaughtered three traitors of our sweet land. Those uh, in-loving bastards that spit on our flag. I must have got lost in the, in the local woods, though, and instead of Lowell, I have found myself in some backwoods. Thankfully, God has guided me to find an abandoned inn where I am able to find preparations while saying my prayers. You know what I mean? Yes, good. Is a, God is on our side, brother. He, too, wants our work to come to fruition. So the days of Abraham Lincoln and his cursed followers are numbered. I hope you have made it safely to Montreal. I trust God protects you the way he protects me. God bless the Confederacy. God bless Jefferson Davis, James W. Booth. So is this the brother of John W. Booth? So, the Union or John, uh, just yeah, John Wilkes Booth. It's all getting more and more mysterious. something back there. You can barely reach him. Oh boy. 97 matches. Some of those vines here. These damn roots again. They seem too tough for me just to break them. I can't deal with it with my bare hands. I need some kind of sharp tool. You mean like shears? I've seen a pair of those quite recently. Mm hmm. The shears are gone. More importantly, the man they're plunging to is gone. What? I couldn't just. Get up and walk away. Ah! Let me go. You. Help! Help! I will leave you of your life, you Yankee bastard. You can't stop the assassination. <laughs> <with> <laughs> the <laughs> creepers lies. Ah! Bomb. Get the hell out of here. Aw, oh, right click instead of left click. You are dead. You can't stop the assassination! Oh, why does it make you click? Hearing these QTEs, the bottom part's white too, and then the part that's different is black, but you want to click. I guess it looks like it. I don't know, it's, it's really disorienting when you don't see it. Crappy bomb if you're three feet away and this flimsy wood's able to protect you. Alright, we have the shears. I think we're good to go. That's right. I'm cutting the shit out of you. It won't. Couldn't find a direction where it would pinch. Can't slam these open, they'll just fling back into your face. Alright. Big ol' storm outside. Let's jump scare in. That one didn't get me too bad, but... Search George's office. And this is where the little kid likes to go. We'll go in there in a second. That's right there. And... Locked. Lock picking only works on... Certain doors. Okay. Uh, 
Another one of these. Enough. Enough with the angel statues. You were supposed to check every possibility, Norton. You're a judge, and you should know how to bend the law without breaking it. The contract states you can both hand over your shares without each other's consent. I'm sorry, George, but you signed it yourself. I never thought that bastard would try to outwit me, and that his demented spawn would sneak into the mine. What do you expect? The brat cannot inherit. We have to persuade that old fart somehow, or we'll end up with nothing. Did that really uh -oh. happen? Uh-oh. Did they plot against my father and me? I'm a brat, huh? Can we use access to reception rooms 107 and 208? Let's go back to the reception desk and find Gilman. Is that nothing? Nothing important. Okay. George White Man. Yeah, no. Should have known I threw that in there. I wonder if 99 is the max you can hold. I'm gonna hang on to 99 until I find another matchbook just to see. Alright, Wednesday, September 13th, 1854, Blackstone, New Hampshire. Monday, September 2nd, the sheriff issued an arrest warrant for Jacob Hyde, a mine and inn owner. Hyde is accused of murdering Judge George John Norton, who, badly wounded, passed away upon arrival at the inn. A $500 reward is being offered. Nope, you can have more than a hundred. Oh. <sighs> Mr. Hyde, I have already written to you multiple times but have never re received a reply, so I'm asking again. Do you really not remember my brother Henry, who stayed at your inn two months ago? He is 31 years old, tall, slim, and wears glasses. He came to your establishment seeking some peace and quiet after a recent breakdown. As a young artist, he was planning to paint landscapes. He's always loved the serene atmosphere of this region and said that these mountains and forests stuck the right chord of his soul. As I mentioned in my previous letters, my brother never returned home. Blackstone was the last place he was seen. I cannot dismiss the possibility that he may have taken his own life as it was full of suffering. But I hope that this is not the case. Maybe you can recall some detail that would help me solve the mystery of Henry's disappearance. Sincerely yours, Anthony Wilcox. Alright, so we have a missing painter somewhere. Oh my god. It won't even let me pick that one up to toss it somewhere. I'm real tired of these angel statues. Oh, hi. Uh, can I get through here? Good. I mean, it was locked last time. Not behind me quite yet. Whoa! Not that way! <laughs> God! I don't know if I could get back that way anyway. Stop walking! You can't see anything on the stairs. Okay, okay. Come in. Lock that up. And let's get the hell out of here. Oh, they're still chasing me or not? I guess not, but what the hell? Alright then. Okay, so we're back out here. Man, we went all the way around. Did we ever cross this section? I don't 
don't know. I doubt I can make my way back up there. Ghost detective stay in. The detective was staying in room two one three. That's upstairs. Oh looky, conveniently. Oh key to room two oh two. It's not quite as convenient as I thought. From room two or two. Let's get these open. I must find out how much Gilman knew. Alright, let's dump more kerosene in there. 45 kerosene. Man, I'm getting a collection. Not even terribly dark half the time. Hmm. How do I get in here? What room is that? Well, let's go up. That's not precarious. Alright, so we're just in here. Couldn't just break the windows and come out this way. Did, did I see something right here? Am I crazy? I mean, my character's nuts. Right, this place looks a little dark. Why don't I just use my my handgun on the ghost? It seems to be effective. This picture. Quickly, I need to hide. Um, am I not? This picture I've seen in that disorientation game, I think. What? Oh, this thing is blocked off. Uh oh. Awesome, right? The thing just falls behind you. Quickly, I need to hide. So, what's his patrol path looking like? Let's go quicker this time. get to the next room. Come over here. Need to know how much he's found. Surely he won't see my head peeking up over this thing. Right, let's check the map. We're there. We need to go to 207 or what? 20 what? 203. That's actually right behind me, but 202 is up and around the corner. know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, hi. Who are you? Yeah, this looks like a good spot. He won't see nothing. Whoa, what the... F any place to hide. I don't know if he's going to be able to bust through that anytime soon. Right, so we're looking for a way into the adjoining room. Oh, here we are. So he doesn't know which way I went. Am I 
crazy, or was it a hand? Gilman! Open the door! We need to talk, just you and me. Greetings, Mr. Hyde. Cut the pleasantries. I know what you're up to. I don't really know why you're so upset. I really... You aren't the only hack who thought he could sniff out a scoop. But I'm not looking for a scoop. I just want to sort this out. There's something unsettling going on in this charming little corner of the world. So many people have gone missing, including your friend, Judge John Norton. I want to find him. Please. That's my sole motivation. You can shove him up your ass! You want to prove I'm responsible for his vanishing, because you're just desperately looking for a story that will get you publicity. The word publicity sounds strange, coming from someone specializing in sweeping things under the rug. Two years have passed since the incident in the mine, and many things still remain unclear. People lost their lives. Many others have gone missing since. And you act like it was just a minor incident. It was an accident. A tragic accident that cost the lives of my employees and ruined my business. That's all. Oh, I'm afraid that's not all. Ever since then, people have gone missing in the area. Many people, even guests of this establishment... Enough! I want you out of my inn by tomorrow. You hear me? So I have a feeling that the accident in the That's mine released something. Something evil. Okay, the disappearances started right after the incident at the mine. I'm aware that the neighborhood isn't very safe with all the forest, mountains, swamps, caves, and whatnot, but I don't believe that it. it's all a coincidence. I also find it hard to believe that the explosion was a mere accident, even though Jacob's vision version was confirmed by the investigating officers. One of the locals told me that right before the explosion, Hyde had brought several barrels of gunpowder to his lot. I'm going to go to the mine and check the shaft for evidence that Hyde could have left there. The sheriff might have overlooked something, or he might have been bribed. Maybe that sh will shed some light on the disappearances. The detective went to the mine that day. Nobody I guess our business here has been concluded. Back. I must retrace his steps. There may still be traces of what happened back then. I vaguely remember the accident. Just pick up all this kerosene laying around. Barrels. Missing people? What's happened here? My father was a cruel man. I yeah, and hasn't my father vanished? Isn't he missing? He capable of killing in cold blood? Maybe he's been converted. I guess I'll have to go down into the mine. Here's our way out. Get this chair. Damn. <laughs> Get. Alright, now the door is open for no reason. On the other side of the barricade. This can't be real. It's a lot of nonsense right here. What were you smiling at? I would just jump out the window. You know, but that's must me. Must have lost my mind. Close your eyes and walk forward. These vines aren't really here. This is perfectly normal. Hello, entity. Don't be evil. At least all the candles are lit is for it, me. Is it only in my head?
course it is, you loon. What's with all the chains and the blood smears? Sure is taking me one direct route, isn't it? Door's rattling a little. <sighs> Here we go. I think I'm going mad. That's a very high possibility. Well, what's with that weird light at the bottom of the screen? that way. What? Seriously? Open it! <laughs> That'll hold them. Wrong. Okay. Oh. It's too nice being able to teleport. Is this the white head or whatever his name is? I have to run. Crunch. I look up and there's a minecart flying at me at 400 miles an hour. I have to run. Okay, okay, I get it. Having a bad day, guys. Okay then, into the deep dark mines with chainsaw hand guy chasing us. Whoo! Things are getting rough for our father, or uh, Nicholas, or whatever. Okay, and that wraps up chapter six. Might be a little bit of a longer video, but that's quite a. I think that's like their most prized chapter in the whole game. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Leave a comment down below on what you guys are thinking so far in the video uh, series. And subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to help further support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time with more The Beast Inside.